Hi, it's Laura Lynn from TeddyBearAcademy.net, where you can take online teddy bear making classes from the comfort of your own home. In this week's free video, I'm going to show you another one of the tools that I use for making teddy bears. Now this tool is not necessary for making teddy bears, but it sure is nice to have. This week I'd like to share three of my uh, more advanced bear making tools with you. The first is the type of scissors that I use. I prefer, as I mentioned in my basic bear making tools video, that I like to use a short bladed scissors. But my absolute favorite scissors to use are these Fiskars uh, spring loaded scissors because they're much easier on my hands. I don't get the, the soreness on my fingers from doing all the, the cutting. And I'm going to show, it's much easier to cut with these by sliding, slide this under, and I like to do uh, small little cuts so that as I'm cutting, the blade is sliding and gliding under the fur so that as you can see the fur does not get cut it's only the backing that is cut and it's much easier to do that with these scissors and these are uh, they help keep your hands from getting fatigued now the next tool that I want to introduce is the awl uh, I mentioned that if you did not have an awl you could use a, a barbecue skewer or a, a sharpened chopstick like this. This is a barbecue skewer that was in the aforementioned video. But I do find if, you're, if you decide that you are very interested in making bears and want to make more than one and want to keep on with it, it is well worth the investment. It is usually less than $10 to purchase an awl. I like the graduated awl. And I just keep that in my bear making toolbox. And then the last tool I want to mention is actually usually purchased at a pet store. And that is just a basic slicker brush. Now when I was at my pet store recently, the, uh, they were bringing in the high priced brushes and getting rid of the just general slicker brushes. I got one of the last cheap ones there at my local pet store. This was just four dollars. The slicker brush you want to use for of course brushing brushing your fur. You want to keep this slicker brush to use only on teddy bears. Do not use the same brush that you brush your dog or cat with your teddy bears. This will also, uh, you, you will find that as you're trimming your bear's muzzle, this will help tremendously in uh, getting it brushed out so that you can trim it nicely. And that is it for this week. These three tools, your slicker brush, the Fiskars spring-loaded scissors, and an awl. And if you look in the description below, I will have a link to a page where you can purchase all of these on Amazon. Get your free ebook, How to Make Teddy Bears, which includes seven different patterns, when you visit the website listed below.